and welcome back to the channel on this video you see the rad rover right there i'm taking it for a ride i haven't had it out for quite a while so uh, this is a nice day and i thought uh let's take the rad out for a ride so that's what we're gonna do so let me get my gloves on here and we'll hop aboard this was my very first electric bike and uh, the first thing I always say about this bike is that and I've never you know changed it out that's why I still complain about it is the seat I don't like the seat on it it's hard so here we go I'm in pedal assist I'm gonna go to pedal assist 3 I always like pedal assist 3 it's a nice easy uh, gear for me uh, uh, assist level for nice pedaling and a good speed it's a good trade-off and uh, I like the throttle to get going and then go ahead and pedal you know I've had this bike quite a while but I've not put a whole lot of miles on it I only have a hundred or eight hundred and eleven miles on it and I've had no trouble. I've never had a flat tire with the bike. The only thing now, the rear tire, I need a new one. It's going bald. And I have not swapped it out yet, but I need to. It's a Kenda 26x4. And I think I can get the tire right off of Rad's uh, website for like $50 I believe something like that so so here we are riding at a nice smooth 14 miles an hour I'm going to crank it up to number 4 let's go to 5 now 5 is the highest you can go so now I'm in pedal assist level 5 and it's getting to where I'm going to ghost pedal. You can't keep up with it. Top speed I've had this bike up to is about, on a flat, is about 24.6 miles an hour. Uh, that's pedaling with it. And, um, yeah, that's the highest I've gotten it up to. So really pedal assist level 4 is a little too much, or uh, 5 I should say, 4 is even a bit, I like 3, I'm going to go back down to 3. This bike uh, has good brakes, uh, it's a nice smooth bike, the uh, one thing like I say I don't like is the seat. The seat is not the greatest in the world. It's hard. And you know what? That's probably the only thing I'm really going to complain about on this bike. And I guess it would be nice to be able to go in pedal assist 5, the highest level, without ghost pedaling. Ghost pedaling is always not fun. But uh, other than that, I, I like this bike. And it's funny, like I say, I've never had a flat tire uh, with the bike yet. The only thing I've had is the back tire going bald, which it's going right now. But it's not that bad. That's the only thing. And I think, that, like I say, I think the tire is only like 50 bucks. It's not crazy. I charged the bike up before I came out and uh, it wasn't 
I don't know the, the it wasn't fully charged yet because the red light was still on the charger for this bike has two lights on it a red and a green so one's the power and one's the actual charge level as I'm coasting down a little bit of the hill here and so it was still in red when I plugged it out to come for the ride because I wanted to come out now I didn't want to wait anymore you have no way of knowing unless you actually time it and know how long it takes to charge the bike you have no way of knowing how much charge you have left time on the bike so uh, it'd be nice to have a meter on there that would actually tell you how much time you have left in the charge that'd be uh, kind of neat and handy maybe somebody uh, is listening and they can come up with that have an actual clock on there of some kind or a meter to tell you how much time is left on to charge up your battery that would be a handy feature I think all of us would love that This bike is definitely a class two. Like I say, if you pedal like mad, you can get it up to like 25 miles an hour, but 24 point something, basically 25 miles an hour, but that's about it. But it's a fun bike to ride. If you've got a lot of hills, well, maybe not, so you wouldn't want to, but. It's not, um, basically it's not for you if you've got a lot of hills, uh, uh, steep hills or long hills to climb. This bike is not it's more for the level ground like I'm riding right now but it is uh, a nice bike like I say the only thing is the seat the headlight is not the greatest in the world if you do any night riding as well. You'd want to get a better light. The only noise you're going to hear, this bike is really quiet. The only thing you're going to hear is a little bit of the uh, tires on the road. They have a little hum to them, but you know, other than that, this bike is super duper quiet. Very quiet. you get these uh, 26 by 4s rolling on the road though you can hear the tires but you can't hear the motor it's this is the quietest bike i'm just going comfortably along here at 17 miles an hour 18 miles an hour in pedal assist 3 and on this bike that's my favorite assist level to be at And if you do not want to pedal and you just want to throttle, you can do that as well. I like to pedal uh, on this bike. It's my favorite uh, bike to pedal. I like the uh, high positioning on this bike for pedaling. As compared to the, uh, as you, uh, if you've watched my videos in the past, you know that I'm a fan of the moped style. Well, the moped style bikes are great, but they're not the greatest for pedaling. 
And uh, this is my pedal bike. If I'm gonna pedal, I like this one. And here I am raving about the bike and uh, you're probably saying, well, why don't you ride it more? Well, I think one of the reasons, I know one of the reasons why I haven't been riding is because I'm afraid of that back tire. It's getting bald, pretty bald and I don't want to have it pop on me yet. I have, I got to find the time to get a tire on here. First, I got to order a tire, which I should be doing. And put one on here and uh, I would ride this bike more often. It's a real fun bike to ride. Here I am, like I say, in Pedal Assist 3, just going along nice and easy. It goes, you know, 16, 17, 18 miles an hour. I'm not ghost pedaling or anything. If you go above Pedal Assist Level 3, you're going to be ghost pedaling. Even three, you can get up to where it can be, just about goes down, but it's pretty close. Like two, if I go back one here to two, this one here, although I am going on a little slight downhill, two is not going to be ghost pedaling at all. Let's try that for a minute. I'm just doing really easy pedaling. I'm not doing any extra hard pedaling. I'm just going kind of along, along with the bike. Pedal assist one would, to me, would be more for if you're just, uh, if you're just uh, on a path with other uh, folks, pedestrians walking or um, ch children on the, on the, path or whatever and then and it's kind of busy then you want to go and pedal assist one if there's nobody around I think pedal assist two is probably your best bet for a uh, path because it'll probably I'm going to try it right here I think it's around it'll get you up to around like comfortably around 15 or a little bit less miles per hour let's see so it's 11 Okay, 12, 12 miles an hour, let's say. 12 to 13. Well, 12 miles an hour, they say, is what a traditional bike, average speed that a person rides a traditional bike. So that's basically what pedal assist level two would be on the Rad Rover here. You'll get around that 12 miles per hour, give or take. So I think pedal assist one, we can go down to pedal assist one now. I believe pedal assist one, and I'm not stopping there because there is no stop sign just in case you're wondering. Let's go to pedal assist one. Okay, and let's see what that does. That's probably going to be more around 10 miles an hour. Yep, so around 10. So 10, uh, pedal assist 1, pedal assist 2 will get you to about 12 miles an hour, 3 will get you up there into the 16, 17, 18, 4 will get you to the probably the 20, and then 5 is going to get you to the max, 24, 25. Now I unlocked the bike, it, it does have a, a limit of 20 on this bike. And I did unlock it to give me the extra. It was so long ago, I forget how I did it. But I went in there somewhere, I think I saw a video. And it got the extra four or five miles per hour out of it. I think it takes it from 20, it's supposed to be to 25. I've never gotten it, other than on a downhill, I've never gotten it above. I think it's 24.8. 24.6 rate, I think it's 24.8. That's the fastest I've ever gotten it to. going to try to race the Harley. Uh, it's got a little more power than I do. But hey, 
if you want to comment on this video or any other video go ahead and leave it in the comments below this is the rad rover out for a spin on a beautiful fall afternoon And that's going to do it for another video here on the channel. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And thank you very much for doing that. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me for this video. And until next time.